Well, we can go now to our Northern Ireland reporter, Doogie Beatty, who joins us from the scene in Omar. And Doogie, just bring us up to date on, on how the, the serving police officer is doing this morning and some of the background to this, because we understand that perhaps his son was one of the children uh, witnessing this incident. Yes, like so many other parents that coach t um, football teams, etc. I did it myself. You involve your children, and it is believed that his son was here last night. Uh, the officer is now, we believe, uh, critical but stable in hospital. And joining me now is the former MP for Fermanagh South Tyrone, which is just down the road, and now Ulster Unionist MLA for that same area, Tom Elliott. Tom, tell us uh, a little bit about, about what went on here last night. Well, it appears uh, the officer who was uh, volunteering as a, as a youth coach uh, was just clearing up from his youth session and his coaching session, and he was approached by two masked gunmen who fired a number of shots and, and hit him, and as you say, he is now critically ill in hospital. Tell us a little bit about this area. What sort of area is this in Oma? Well, it's a, it's a middle-class area. It's a quite mixed in, in its religion and community. Uh, there's a bit of industry here in the area, but this sports complex is very, very widely used by a whole section of, of sports clubs. Not only football, but Gaelic athletics, uh, and it's, it's very, very popular. You, most evenings you wouldn't get a car parking space here at all, and uh, you know it's, it's used by everybody. And uh, that's what makes it, I suppose, even more difficult to accept is this, young, this man was coaching a, a group uh, preparing them for the future. Well, we can say that that is quite a shock here, uh, and, and we do. There is many fingers being pointed at where this is coming from. But it has to be said, this officer was a very senior detective that was involved in uh, many high-profile investigations of crimes here, and most of that was in and around organised crime. So that will be the first line of inquiry for the PSNI at this moment. Yeah. And although people may associate the, these sort of attacks with Northern Ireland, this sort of t attack is becoming more rare. It is, and there is blurred lines between paramilitaries, uh, dissident republicans and organised crime, but it is, it is becoming a, a rarity, there is no doubt on that. Northern Ireland has become a lovely place in the last 20-odd uh, years. It has become a totally different place from the one that you and I grew up in, but there is still elements inside it that would take advantage of criminality and try to come against those of us that want to keep inside the rule of law.